I like to say that I kill people for a living, fictionally speaking. <laughs> it's true. Portland native Kate Dyer Seely fictionally kills people for a living, and she's been getting away with this line of work now for more than a decade. She started writing her first mystery novel when she was 35. Five years later, her first book was published, and she now has two dozen published titles to her credit. I wanted to be a writer when I was in second grade. I still have a copy of the very first mystery that I wrote in second grade. It was titled The House on the Haunted Hill, and it had absolutely no plot. Just a lot of like broken down bikes in a scary mansion. Decades later, when Kate started to seriously pursue the dream of becoming an author, she was also a little busy being a mom. Her son Luke was in preschool at the time, and the great working mom juggling act was underway. I was like, okay, I'm dropping him off at preschool at 9 a.m. I'm picking him up at noon. I have two hours to write, so I gotta get it done. So writing books while raising Luke taught Kate time management, and she says it also gave her the ability to spend more time with him as he grew up. Because I have flexibility, I can, and have always been able to go to his cross country runs or events at school and help out. But it's also been such a family experience. He's gone on book tour everywhere with me. So we've traveled the world because of my books. And Luke has even had some input when it comes to naming Kate's novels. One of my favorite titles that he helped come up with was, and actually he came up with this title fully on his own, was Caught Bread Handed. Again, that's Caught Bread Handed. Part of what's known as Kate's Bake Shop Mystery Series. These all take place in a small village. They feature like a, a baker or a home brewer who solves the crime but they really center around more like the Agatha Christie style of piecing together the clues. So the opposite of CSI. The newest one coming out is Mocha She Wrote. Prior to that, there was Chilled to the Cone, Nothing Bunt Trouble. One of my favorites is A Crime of Passion Fruit or Till Death Do Us Tart. <laughs> they're just, they're <laughs> meant, you know when you're reading a book called A Batter of Life and Death that you're not about to read War and Peace, right? <laughs>